This silver sphere, now the subject of privacy concerns across the world. An eyeball scanning machine promising to prove just how human a person can be in the fast growing world of artificial intelligence. It's called the World Coin Orb, and it's the latest passion project by the founder of ChatGPT. You need to confirm, yes. It's a world of authenticity that works like this. To start, simply download World App. To sign up, just find the nearest orb right on the app. What this commercial fails to mention is the biometric data that is then collected in exchange for a digital ID. Some of those orbs found in Nairobi, Kenya, where authorities are now scrambling to suspend operations, saying there are too many unknowns. Over the last week, more than 350,000 Kenyans have already gotten their eyes scanned here by the device in Nairobi. New users exchange their biometrics for WorldCoin cryptocurrency, equaling about 49 U.S. dollars. One Nairobi resident saying in part, I found it online, applied. When I got here, I found people queuing, and I applied, and they scanned, and now waiting for the money. Kenya's communications authority now questioning where the data is being stored and what WorldCoin is doing with that information. They're collecting uh, critical data about, uh, quote unquote, uh, say to be a good way for proof of humanity. How did this then uh, increase the value uh, in the short term? In the long term, perhaps if the demand for such kind of data increases, then you would say that uh, it would be sold to the highest bidder. In a statement to NBC News, WorldCoin denies that it will or is selling any personal data and will, quote, work with local officials to increase understanding of the privacy measures and commitments WorldCoin implements, not only in Kenya, but everywhere. Ellison, Kenya is just the latest country to scrutinize WorldCoin's operations since they launched last week. Now there's growing questions around if what they're doing is even legal. Watchdog groups from countries like Germany, France, and the United Kingdom are investigating. Ellison, Megan Fitzgerald, thank you.